All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to give your uh, character a power up. So, there's lots of different ways you could trigger a power up. Um, one easy way would be just to add something he could run into. So, I'll just use a rock here. Um, and let's just say I'm controlling my Kodu, and let's just say I want him to bump into a rock. It could be anything, or it could even be a piece of land if you wanted to paint a particular piece of land. Let me see here. We'll go with that color. Make this. Smaller brush size. Okay, there we go. So I'm going to just draw that piece of land there. So I can give you a couple different examples. Okay. So I'm going to edit this and go into the programming for Kodu. And we're just going to say, I'll use the land example first. So let's say when you are on land. And then you have to specify what kind of land. So we're going to say which type. And I'm going to choose the same one I just used to draw with, which I think was that one, right? I think that's right. Yeah, that's the same. Okay. So we're going to say when you are on that type of land, what we want to do is switch to page 2. Right. So, of course, on this on this one, we'll already have some kind of way that he can be moved around. So we'll say left stick move. So we'll just have that for, for now on this page. So as long as you're on page one with the left stick, you can move around. And then once you hit this type of lane, we're going to switch to page two. So on page two, we would still want him to have this basic skill. So I'm going to copy this row and put it in over here on page two. But we also want him to have... A special ability, a power up. So let's say um, when on the gamepad you push the right trigger, you shoot a missile. All right. So that's a basic power up. So power ups generally are temporary. It could be something you allow for your whole game, and then they would just stay on page two for the programming. But if it was just a temporary thing, then you would go to win, and you would choose a certain amount of time on the timer. So let's just say uh, we'll let him be able to shoot for five seconds. But when that timer runs up for five seconds, we're going to switch back to page one. So now we have a temporary power-up that's built in here. So now if I play this... Right now, I'm over here. I can't shoot. I'm hitting the right trigger. Nothing's happening, right? If I get on top of this land, now I can shoot. And I should continue to have that ability to shoot. Yep. As long as I'm not on that land until my 10 seconds is up. And now it's up, so I can't shoot anymore. Go back over the land. Now I can shoot again. So that's just a basic power-up. We could obviously, we could have done the same thing uh, with the rock if I wanted to say, instead of on land, i just say when uh, you bump into... Where is rock? Rock. That would be our trigger, right? So now, if I come over here, can't shoot right now. Haha, <laughs> I can't bump that. Oh, I can't bump the rock. I touched it, apparently. It'll let me shoot for 10 seconds. And I guess my 10 seconds is up. So, that's a basic way to do a power-up if you want to use that in your game. You can't.